lots of lead changes tonight and a bit of a wild game out there. Tons of penalties as well. How did you see it? Uh, that's the type of game I would um, I would look at it from two different perspectives. Um, a five-on-five five game and the special teams. Five-on-five five where we win the game 3-1. Um, we created um, 27 scoring chances for, which is pretty good. Um, which would be a good number for us this year. Gave up 18 scoring chances against. So we had the lead there. Um, and then special teams, our PK, um, giving up some goals. And um, one of our, when you get scored on your power play, it's always, uh, it's always tough. But we stayed positive. Um, I like the way we moved. I like the way we, uh, we responded uh, in the face of adversity. But the five-on-five five game, we won the game. I think the special teams, uh, we lost the game. So um, that's where I would see. That's how I would explain it. Maybe just a little more. Uh, you said uh, the shorthanded goal can sort of be a test mentally, and then you look at a goal like the one that went off the side of your captain's head and into the net for them. Um, those can both be tests, and your team battled back the whole time, getting a point out of tonight, uh, tonight's game. So, what did you like in the battle, and as well, what was going on on the bench? Well, you know what? Um, yeah, that like. Uh, one of those play uh, it gets deflected off one of our players' head. Um, so it was one of those games where it was a little bit of luck, um, and, and that's part of it. Um, but, but I like the way we responded. We stayed composed. We stayed uh, focused to what we needed to do. And I would say we won the last game 4-0, and uh, the result was better. We still got a point today, but we played better today. We played a better game. Uh, five on five, we gave up one goal, and it's on a face-off play. It's just a small assignment there. The puck is right behind our uh, center's feet, and it's just a battle. Um, and, and we had the puck just before that. We iced the puck. We didn't have to. So little things, uh, but our team game, uh, we played a better game than the last game. So, um, the, you know, the... the the way we um, we handled the pressure and, and the, the, um, the adversity was pretty good. 13 out of 18 scorers end up on the score sheet tonight. We've talked about uh, depth with this team through what they've gone through. And I'll steal a, uh, a phrase from Tucker Pullman. He said scoring by committee. Just a comment on, on that from your squad. Well, you know what? Um, yes, for sure. Um, but you look at our team this year, and we need to adjust with um, to the players that we have. and, and there's one thing they do, they work hard. And, and we can't take anything away from that, from those guys in, in the sense that we work hard. Um, and we had trouble scoring goals earlier this season. Um, and the way we score goals, it's quite, uh, we, know, we know how to produce offense um, with the team that we have. And it's, it's, the foundation is hard work and puck management and um, hard on the forecheck and being really quick at countering when you get it back. So that's how we've been scoring and uh, recently, and we've been scoring more goals recently. So that's the one thing we wanted to improve, uh, give that confidence to produce offensively. And I think our five on five defensive game is pretty good. Um, and you know, our PK has been pretty good as well uh, for, for a long time now. Uh, it was just one of those games, like you said, puck deflected off the helmet and stuff like that. Um, the other special teams unit, uh, power play unit, struggled in the first game against Laval, yeah. had some success tonight, and the group that seemed to be getting more minutes was the second one over the bench on the first time. I know we don't use first and second, yeah. but, uh, but that group, what, what had you riding them tonight? Well, I, you know, we scored two on the power play. Um, you know, the one we got scored against, we just uh, lost a step there. Um, but we, we were generating more offense uh, by moving the puck quick, supporting the puck quicker. and, and um, the, But the, the first thing is um, on the power plays to get in the zone uh, if you don't win the faceoff. And we were, be we were better at uh, getting in the zone. So uh, you can dissect it from different perspectives. Um, but our power play was moving better. We had chances. We scored two goals on the power play, and they were legitimate, good goals. So it's uh, that's positive. We're going to build on that. A uh, couple players of note tonight: uh, Tucker Pullman playing his first game back. Ended up playing quite a few minutes and in a variety of different roles. What did you uh, What did you like from number three tonight? I liked this game. We we had a, low, a quick chat this morning, and I, I we talked about keeping it simple. Obviously, um, he hasn't been playing for a long time. 
So uh, he kept it simple and we wanted to make sure he feels comfortable. Uh, I spoke to him uh, during the game, asking him how he felt and he felt good. Um, he was, um, for a guy that hasn't played in such a long time, he was, I thought he was pretty good. I, it's just a matter of getting uh, game shape. Uh, he was, um, I, well, he didn't stay too long on the ice. He was, um, he was playing short shift hockey, uh, but that was, um, that was part of the process, and I liked this game. I liked the way he moved. I liked his uh, confidence. So you, he played a good game for us. We've asked you a couple times lately about Jansen Harkins. Uh, had another successful game tonight. And uh, one of the things I thought I sort of saw upstairs was having some success in the faceoff dot as well on the power play. Um, just what are the details that are that that are having him sort of start hitting the score sheet more frequently now? Well, he's shooting the puck. Uh, that would be the first uh, thing. And uh, he's on the puck. He gets the puck more. He's more confident. He's stronger on the puck. He's, I think it's uh, for Jensen. It's, it's all about confidence and because uh, he's got some tools, some great tools to create some things offensively. So um, you've seen this goal on the power play was, uh, was a heavy shot um, and, and um, the accuracy was pretty good. So he's got this potential to, to do those things, uh, just a matter of being confident to, to do it more consistently. And then last one, uh, when you needed the goal at the end uh, to tie it up, uh, one of the guys who's joined the team sort of midway through but has been a driver for you in moments, Marco Dano was the one that ended up scoring that. Uh, just what has his leadership meant to the team right now? Oh, big time. He's, uh, he's, been, he's been pretty good for us. But I think um, um, if there's one thing that Marco does well, it's, it's timing to drive the net and when and using a stick. And you've seen it today. Um, that was a big goal for us. Uh, he was driving the net, uh, finding the right area, and uh, presenting a stick to the puck carrier. And um, but he's he's been. Um, you ask the, the people with the play, working for the Jets. He's been very positive. Um, last year he was. He's a, he's a very positive guy. He's he's working hard. Um, he's he's doing what he has to do, and it's. Uh, it's being a good uh, team member, uh, staying positive and working hard. And uh, when he drives the net like he does like this, he's going to score more.